welcome to my channel okay in this video we're going to install Microtik on the computer or on the server so first of all you need to burn a CD or DVD uh, with the Microtik ISO but here I'm using VMware workstation so I'm using the ISO file okay so first screen you will see uh, after uh, booting from CD it's asking uh, what features or select one by one or you can select all so Showing uh, the instructions above there you can see move around the menu using P and N uh, For the arrow keys and the space for to select and select all with the key a so I'm going to press a key Okay, all of the services are selected Okay, and then I'm going to click uh, sorry press I to install okay and it's asking do you want to keep old configuration I'll say no continue yes creating partition okay so the hard drive we created uh, that was uh, 10 gigs and now it's going to format it and we'll create according to the micro take requirement I won't pause the video because um, I want to see if I see any error so uh, I can tell you guys uh, that how I fixed but it installed without any error without any issue okay so I'll load winbox alright so first time uh, microtik login username is admin and password is just nothing you just need to hit enter okay so let's check um, in the ip uh, address print okay there is no IP assigned and uh, let's assign IP address uh, to the interface so I'm going to add uh, address 192 192.168.11.2 slash 24 and interface is it a one uh, and we have only one interface and then net mask should be 255.255.255.0 and what else network address uh, 192.168 dot one one dot zero okay and one nine two dot one six eight dot eleven dot two okay interface is good okay so let's try connecting this from the win box first and easiest step is to check from your computer first if you are able to ping you will be able to access from winbox nope I'm not able to ping okay let's find out what's the issue so I am going into the virtual network editor okay uh, and this has the IP address 192.168.90 uh, for the host only VM uh, net 1 and VM net 8 is 20. Yeah, let's find out which network is using this uh, VM. Okay, so I'm going to the VM settings 
and the network adapter and here you can see uh, it's using the NAT one so let's just uh, select the custom and VM NAT 8 that is uh, confirmed using NAT okay and uh, what was the IP uh, let's check again one more time so that is uh, 192.168.21.0 network and uh, check the DHCP settings so the starting IP is 21.128 so we'll use uh, like 21.100 okay so let's do this okay I'll just change uh, it from 21.100 and 21.2 no sorry dot zero and uh, we will check this again thing 192 21.100 okay so now we are able to ping it I'll be able to access it from the wind box great okay so our software our microtech is installed on the VM uh, you can use the same procedure to install it on a server on a computer and uh, if you're using this 5.0 which is available to download in the description uh, let me show you how you can register it okay you want to load uh, Microtech ISO into DVD or CD and uh, go to the key and I remember okay uh, let's try importing the key from Start the ping again to see when it's back up to be able to see the registered version of Microtech and you can use all of the features without any limitations. Microtech is back and I was able to uh, connect using Winbox without any uh, license error or license message. Okay, so as it is installed on a computer uh, on a virtual machine so that's why it's showing only one interface and uh, further in ne next videos we will add further uh, more interfaces according to our configuration and settings keep watching the session thank you so much for watching this video and if you not have already subscribed to this channel please go ahead and click on subscribe button thank you bye bye